What I look like taking these niggas serious. <laughs> Ever since I sent him that picture. <laughs> People think that they play and they push and pee until they meet somebody like me. Play with your mama hoe. Good y'all. It's your girl Cherry Marie. I am back. I am back. I am back. <laughs> What's up, Marie Mafia? It's your girl Charity Marie, and I am back with another video. This is gonna be a juicy video, y'all. I'm excited. I'ma do a exposing my DMs. I never seen this before, but I just thought of it. So I don't know if I'm the first one to do it, but hey, <laughs> we're gonna do it today. So if your man is in my phone y'all <laughs> if your man's in my phone i'm sorry if your boyfriend your husband your brother your cousin your daddy your uncle your grandpa if he's in my phone are you really gonna hate the player or you gonna hate the game <laughs> tight okay tight so i'm wondering comment down below and let me know which one do y'all want to see instagram Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, iMessages, like, what do y'all want to see, okay? Because I'm eventually, like, I can't make just one, like, I can't do all of them in one day. It's a lot going on in here, okay? So, yeah, I'm trying to think. I kind of want to do my messages because it's either messages or Snapchat, okay? Messages or Snapchat is going to be like probably some of the juiciest ones in Instagram. Yeah, I know y'all want to get up in the iMessages now. Yeah, I know y'all want to see that. I know y'all want to see them Snapchats. Snapchat see a whole different side of me. If we're related, please don't ever subscribe to my Snapchat until I get old and crusty. Okay, or I, I get settled down. Y'all might not even want to see me when I got me a man though, because I'm going to show up. <laughs> When I actually get cuffed, when I actually accept a bachelor, you know what I'm saying? If I actually cuff one of these niggas, one of these men, because I don't do niggas. Hey, it ain't no telling what might not, what, what might go down on my Snapchat. I don't know, because y'all know I like to show out. <laughs> so, I'm going to do Snapchat, y'all. Because Snapchat me that, um, hey and facetime me that <laughs> so yeah i've been posting on snapchat i ain't gonna lie if you look if you my family go ahead and exit because y'all ain't gonna watch this one if y'all related to me or y'all think of me in a high and mighty road don't look at this because y'all don't want to see this <laughs> but basically i've been posting on my snapchat more and i've been thinking about relaunching only fans like don't judge me y'all know i don't give a fuck I've been up, I done did it before. And I'm just the type of person, if I'ma do something, I'm I'ma be the best at doing it. So whatever I do, I do it to a full extent. Some people look at it like, damn, they may be doing them. I was like, but even make do it be making that money though. Do 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 them coins be adding up? Mm, okay. Yeah. So yeah. And I have to take care of me and mine. I got a little one now, so yeah, I don't, like, if I do get back into doing OnlyFans and stuff like that, I'm not going to do it for a long-term time. Do I want to show y'all what I posted? Y'all going to see some. Y'all going to see some stuff. Okay, I'm going to show y'all what I post. And I might post the thirst trap right now so y'all can see in real time, like, how quick they be coming in and what they saying. So, yeah, this is what I had posted. This was me before the baby. <laughs> it was me and the girls out. So, hey, yeah. 
So that and then that. So this is what I posted. So I'ma just show y'all my messages. I'm just opening them up. Like the most recent ones. It's a lot, so I don't even know if I can read all of them at once. So oh I ain't open none of this boy's message. I ain't gonna reveal nobody's name, but <laughs> so he obviously been messaging me. Me and you got a party. What you waiting for? I'm trying to pick you up. I would have you running. This sounds a little creepy. <laughs> and this why I don't be outside, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, you fine. You gotta give me a chance. I said, thank you. Let me see what you look like. Let me see what he sent. I mean, he, he, I, he like a, a six. But yeah, I ain't reply to him. Let's see what's up next. Whoever this one is. <laughs> now this man funny. I love when, when people slide into my DMs, but they being like funny with it. That's, I ain't gonna reply to you still, but it'd be at least comical. So black hearts. Oh, you thick, thick. You eat your cornbread. Thick, beautiful ass. Thanks. <laughs> okay. This man said, bet I can. Okay. Now this one just been hearting it. And then said, please do. Now this was so cute. This was cute. I was at the gym. That's what I had. That's what he had stood up on. This is cute too. I'm wild. I be posting the stuff that I post, like the the captions that I believe in. It be so funny. I said, "Need me a BDB? If you know, you know." <laughs> oh, this guy just missed me again. He said, "We gotta go out." No, thank you. Okay, next. This one just been hearting it. This one sent me. I'm filming in public, y'all, so I ain't. But yeah, he been sending me the them. Now, let me just go ahead and let y'all know, fellas. Nine times out of ten, we don't want to see that. <laughs> we don't want to open up our phone and see your thing. Unless you my man, unless that, you know, and especially if it's just duh and ashy, like how dare you send an ashy dick to my fucking phone? Ain't he make it look presentable or nothing? Like, I don't want to see that. And then people be adding me into their private Snapchats. I guess like they add probably the girls who they want, you know, to do something with to their private or something. And they be just going at it, just it ain't no telling what like girls some of them men be posting y'all having sex with them on snapchat i hope y'all know that they be adding it to their little private story and then it's them either doing stuff like doing stuff <laughs> so yeah be careful and i'm saying this doing what i do i can't judge y'all i'm just i'm just letting you know if you don't know but yeah yeah the next one i need to reveal my d my my i messages i think i'm gonna open up a few of these and i'm gonna just give you a preview of the messages i'm gonna open up like one thread but yeah it's a whole lot y'all it's no way i can get through all these um this one i'm over this guys all legit no jokes really yeah that's right hey i will pay to manage a lot of people been asking to be my manager lately do that mean that I'm bossed up? Like, what does that mean? That that must mean I'm doing something right if people want to manage me. Which, I could use a manager. I ain't gonna lie. Like, people in real life, by the way, not just messages, but in real life, people be wanting to do that. Or they want me to manage them. So, this guy hearted something, and then next message is challenge accepted. Somebody said, I'll fold that shit up. <laughs> Child. Somebody put laughing. Somebody said lies. Somebody put the blush emoji. Somebody, okay, this one. How far are you from Stockbridge? Eye emoji. Link up. Eye, eye emoji. What you doing Friday? Yo. P 
picture my face down there looking at all that goodness. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Like people from different states really be looking at me like, like I be having viewers real life, several, multiple from like Chicago, from LA, from New Orleans. Like a lot of people from New Orleans fuck with me, no cap. Um, Atlanta, different parts of Georgia, North Carolina, Mississippi, like some of everywhere, y'all. And I'm like, okay, I'm worldwide. And then, mother oh, literally, Dominican Republic, um, where else? Somebody, they was like in Germany or some shit. Uh, what else? Uh, what's another place, real quick? Jamaica, Haiti, Africa. Yeah, worldwide, no cap, no lies. Damn is what somebody put. That's funny. <laughs> somebody said, where you at, LOL? And the reason I refuse to link up with anybody on the internet because people are crazy and I don't know you, I prefer to meet people in real life. And even then, I don't even give them no attention. <laughs> So it's like, how dare I? <laughs> Somebody said, well, damn. And then said again, damn. And honestly, I don't take DMs to heart. Like, I realize that men want one thing. Nine times out of ten, men want one thing. They want the cootie cat. They want to see what the thing talking about. They want to see what that mouth do, though. Okay? So, what I look like taking these niggas serious. <laughs> they going to say that to everybody. Okay, I don't be thinking of myself no type of special. I don't think highly of myself. Like I, I, I know who I am though. Like I do think, I do think highly of myself. But I also realize that niggas gonna say whatever. That don't mean shit. Like that's why I, I do transactional relationships now. Like you have to do something for me. I'm like, cause I've been that woman who took care of a man while he sat at work. I mean, while he sat at home, I went to work, paid the bills and gave him money to real like a fucking fool. So I feel like I've done my community service with these niggas. I deserve to be treated like the fucking goddess that I am. And I'm not going to accept nothing less. So this is all that this is. I'm just reading this because I thought it would be like a fun little video. I just had to make this be clear because before y'all get in the, because I know the the people who what they call it, uh, the people who don't get no coochie or no Peter Wacker and they can't pull nobody. I know they be mad. They be the ones who be uh like making fake accounts, commenting weird shit. This one said sexy motherfucker, bad as fuck, feet sexy as fuck. <laughs> Somebody said, now that's sexy for real, for real. My old sneaky link said, what you doing? Child, let me tell you. <laughs> Y'all, I really got love for him, right? Like, he already know what the fuck. <laughs> but I just can't open up that door again. I can't go back to nothing old that I've been there before. Like, I can't say that in if i'm still single in a few years that i may or may not you know what i'm saying depending on how the growth is but right now where i'm at i'm not even i'm i'm abstinent right now i'm choosing not to have sex even though it's sausage everywhere being thrown at me left and right i am choosing to be celibate or abstinent just until like, I'm, I'm almost at the year mark. I'm a reevaluate. I'm probably make a video of my conclusion from a year being abstinent, y'all. But that, that temptation, when I say it's coming, like I can ignore 99%, uh, 95% of these niggas. Like I can really say 99% because I like it's really hard to impress me. Like you might can get my number, but for me to text you back and be consistent. And for me to actually give a fuck, that would surprise me. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see where I'm at with it at the one year of being absent, Mark. And I'm going to reevaluate because <laughs> I'm a kinky motherfucker. I'm kinky, y'all. I like 
shit that it just be like, oh, I want to see what this would be like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do stuff out of being spontaneous. So, <laughs> it's been opportunities coming my way where I'm, like, really curious. And I'm like, damn, this might not be for a long time, but it might be for a good time. But I'm almost at the year mark. I'm going to hold it down. And, yeah, I'm just having fun right now. <laughs> she's so funny but yeah y'all um let me read one message thread in my phone <laughs> i'm gonna choose a funny one okay this one this is the old man by the way this is the old man <laughs> he's old enough to probably my paw paw okay <laughs> i ain't gonna tell y'all where i met this man at but it was in person. Okay. This is da da da. He said his name. I'm going to say Jay. This is Jay saying, Have a wonderful day. I mean, this is Jay saying, Have a wonderful night, beautiful. I know it sounds like I can't read y'all. <laughs> okay. This is Jay saying, Have a wonderful night, beautiful. Thank you. I said, Thank you so much. I just made it back home. Then he said, Hi. What about just one of your birthday pictures? It's for my eyes only. <laughs> I sent him one. I'm going to show you which one I sent him. <laughs> I sent him this one. <laughs> and he's an old man. I knew he was going to be uh, excited. He said, thanks. And let me tell y'all, ever since I sent him that picture, <laughs> every time, like, I mean, ever since we would be at wherever location, like we see each other casually i'll say that we be seeing each other in person casually so every time he would see me in person he would say i still be looking at your pictures every day i look at it every morning you so beautiful like just hyping me up like in person real real time so he said thanks so i said you're welcome and then he said hi beautiful have a wonderful and safe night i at least want to say good night to you be safe stay sweet but let me tell you this <laughs> so when we would see each other casually for a period of time i was like i was maybe i was ignoring him i might have been ignoring him but he it, to me it looked like he was just scared to speak to me like people be intimidated with beautiful women so i just was like okay you know but also thought he was just playing it cool. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're doing stuff discreetly, you play it cool or whatever. So I was just assuming that. So after he said, be safe, stay sweet. I said, thank you so much. I had knocked right on out when I got home. He said, you are so welcome. When do you work again? I said, weekend. He said, oh, okay. Well, enjoy your time off and have a blessed day. I said, I know, right? I have to recover. I've been so tired. And then he said, you may be tired, but you are so dang beautiful. And you carry yourself like a beautiful lady slash woman you are. Rest and enjoy. And then I didn't reply to that. So next he said, hi, I was, hi, was thinking about you and wondering what do you do when you are not working? I didn't reply. And then he said, I want to look in your beautiful brown eyes with the eye emojis. And then I replied like a few hours later and said, I had went right to sleep after work, but all. He said, thanks, you are so beautiful to me. I love your eyes and smile, blush emoji. I said, you're so sweet. <laughs> and he said, hi, beautiful. I am waiting for that beautiful, sexy picture of you. You already know that I'm, I am a private person and no one sees or knows what I do and with whom. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> First of all, I play this ain't even that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't even be replying to men because I feel like they get a little obsessive with me. And I don't like that. Like, I've been in a domestic violent relationship where that man, like, was very possessive of me. And he wanted to, like, I just know that feeling. And if you've been there before and been in a situation like that, you know. So... I don't really like it's such a huge turnoff 
for men to be like obsessed with me like of course i want my own man to be like really like in a healthy way obsessed with me like really love me and admire me but in a like cherish me and hold me to a like on a pedestal i want that for my men but i just i'm still not fully healed from that situation and i look at people sideways and i look at men sideways and i'm really trying to get out of that mindset but it's so hard if you know you know but i also feel like the right man for me will know how to like he will fit perfectly and i'll be naturally comfortable with him and he will know how to be patient with me and he'll know how to treat me so like i feel like with this whole internet shit and like my presentation like that is a business for me you know how kim kardashian uh ari <clears throat> and basically every celebrity or influencer they look at themselves and carry themselves as brands so it's not even necessarily that what you see them as is who they actually are this is just like an actor this is a job this is a like a presentation so of course you have to you know depending on who your audience is and you know what your thing is that's how you present yourself but yeah so yeah that's just like a little side note but yeah so i had stopped i'm a bad texter as well i'm a mother all right i got a lot of shit going on i'm in school i work i'm a mom i'm a ceo i'm a business owner i'm a content creator it's a lot that i do so i really like to anyone if you are not just like we locked in i'm not really gonna reply so he said good morning please don't forget to send one no one but me will see it just like no one has seen the first one and then he sent another message later like about 10 days later he said hi beautiful how are you doing today i said hey baby he said hey sweetie i said how are you doing i said i am no he said i am finding you i said i'm doing well what you doing and he said just getting up fixing to get in the shower what you doing and then i replied he said what you doing and then i replied that and then 10 more days later he said what you doing you working tonight and i said i'm getting ready i'm probably going to run by the store and yes i do you ready to see me and he said yes i am i'm so ready to see you and then he said where <laughs> oh shoot I ain't trying to show nobody number but um he said i'm so ready to see you tell me what to do what do i have to do in order for this to happen please don't run for me or deny the chance to see you miss beautiful and then he said i stay ready to see you your beauty is very special and then i said mm, i think if you buy me something nice or give me money so i can get myself myself situated it will help and then he said like what <laughs> and I said a price and I said and I like nice purses and shoes and jewelry and flowers he said okay when can we hook up I said when we start we can start with dates this week what will you be gifting me and he said where can we go and have drinks in private and he said I am gained I said what does gained me and we can go somewhere more public first like Longhorn or and discuss some things get to know each other and see how we can move forward and then he said you are so right i mean you are right i just thought that you didn't want anyone to see you out with an older man i said no it's fine with me you want to tomorrow and then he ended up saying hi and then i replied and he said i say that you're so beautiful to me and i want to have some drinks with you and then i said hey and when you want to do that tomorrow he said I waited for you, but you were busy. I will call you tomorrow. And then I said, okay. And then he said, good morning. Dang, you looked so good to me last night. I wanted to talk with you last night, one-on-one. -on -one. This is just a bad week for the way I work this week. You really got me turned on. And I said, why you didn't want to talk to me? And thank you. He said, I keep my business to myself, and I didn't want anyone to see that I am really turned on by you. Your eyes and your smile just does something to me, and I like it. <laughs> So, I think that is enough for this video, y'all. Uh, let me pop my collar, okay? And let me say this. Men think that they player. People think that they player. And they pushing P until they meet somebody like me. Okay? 
So, play with your mama hoe is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, I am finna go. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm going to try to edit several videos so I can really be dropping it back to back to back, y'all. Really, just smash the like button. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. I do have plenty more threads, okay? Y'all, I have the, f like, y'all can't even fathom, okay? Y'all can't even fathom. But yeah, just let me know if y'all want to see another one. And I will open up another thread. And I didn't even read half of my, like, Snapchat. That was just way too much. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna go. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? Deuces.